Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are very curious about has all to do with the Star Wars Episode 9 teaser trailer and the first set of footage of this movie that will give fans an overall idea of the tone of the film and J.J. Abrams' vision of the final installment of this current trilogy. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. However, when it comes to the actual teaser trailer, what's really exciting exciting is that it all has to do with John Williams himself, the man who does the music for the Star Wars films. Now, an actual track was actually developed for the Star Wars Episode 9 teaser trailer that is said to be a mixture of the prequel trilogy era, as well as the originals and the sequels that will blow fans away. Now, this is a piece of the teaser trailer that I'm really looking forward to seeing in Episode 9. Now, if we actually do look at everything that has been happening with J.J. Abrams, and Chris. We do know that they are trying their very best in order to incorporate the footage of Episode 9 to actually have a lot of similarities to that of the prequels and the originals. So we do know that John Williams, you know, he composed a dedicated track to the Star Wars Episode 9 teaser, which by the way is all done and ready to go. It's all about when Disney and Lucasfilm wants to drop the actual teaser for the fans. Now, it has been said before in the past that this was delayed back in December for multiple reasons, which we honestly went over just yesterday and about a week ago or so as well. So, looking at everything that has been happening with Episode 9, if you look at everything here for the movie, we do know that John Williams is going to really introduce tons of new themes in this film, and we're going to get a glimpse of these themes that are going to be a mixture of the prequels, the originals, and the sequels, all into one track in the actual teaser trailer for episode 9. Now, let me know what you guys have to say about this. Do you think that that's a good or a bad thing to introduce in the first set of footage of this movie by introducing an actual track that John Williams made that has all to do with the prequels and all the other sagas as well? So, if we look at Star Wars as a whole, we do know that John Williams also did a couple of tracks for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is also known as Star Wars Land. So, if you guys actually go over to Star Wars Land, when you go Go in there you're gonna hear music by John Williams that he did and only did for the park itself the same exact thing applies here for the first set of footage of episode 9 so we're gonna get a dedicated track that is a mixture between all different eras of the Star Wars franchise which honestly I think is very exciting for sure now the other thing here is this the release date. A lot of people have been wondering about the release date, and it has been said that it's supposed to drop this February of 2019, alongside with the title reveal coming a couple of days you know, before that. A lot of people are thinking maybe January 20th to the 25th. There's a lot really going on now with the marketing of this movie. A lot of things have changed before in the past. You know, initially they wanted to do a one-year marketing technique for this movie in order for it to really feel true to the Skywalker saga and to kind of follow the same exact path of The Force Awakens marketing style. So I think what J.J. Abrams did was I think that he actually intervened with Disney and he kind of like negotiated with them to hold back the teaser because I don't know if you guys recall, but back when The Force Awakens teaser dropped, we learned a couple of weeks later that J.J. Abrams actually would have rathered to actually have it drop later. He actually pushed Disney to keep it secret for a very long time, as opposed to dropping it back in November of 2014. So I think that the same exact thing applied here to the point where J.J. pursued and pursued, and got the chance to allow Disney to, you know, hold the trailer back. But as you all know, some of the main reasons as to why the teaser was delayed had to do with some of the other shots that had to be reshot for the first act of the movie and remixed into the finalized version of the teaser, as well as spreading word of mouth for Avengers Endgame and Captain Marvel and, of course, you know, uh, Mary Poppins Returns, all the other Disney 
properties, all the Disney movies, getting more attention. So it was also that. As well as Spider-Man Far From Home, figuring out the release date for that. Which, by the way, guys, uh, it's ha it has been said that tomorrow, I think, is going to be the release of Far From Home. So just keep that in mind. We may very well be getting the teaser for the Spider-Man movie tomorrow. So, looking at Star Wars as a whole, guys, I am just so super pumped here to see exactly what this new track is going to be like, what it's going to sound like, along with the footage presented, you know, consisting of Kylo Ren, Rey, Lando Calrissian, Leia, uh, you know, all the other characters coming into play here. The sad thing is, is that Luke Skywalker will be excluded from all of the promotional material for the first phase of this movie. So what do you guys think about this? You know, what do you think about this John Williams track that will be used for the teaser? and also will be used for the full trailer on April 11th of this year. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.